Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Destiny 2. This is our third and final week of the Dawning 2018. And of course, this is our very special Christmas Day video. So we're definitely saying Merry Christmas to everybody. And have a happy 2019 coming up next Tuesday. So in this very special Christmas Day video, we're going to be showing you guys how to get the brand new Dawning Legendary Ship. I'm pretty sure it's called the Infinity. So the way this works right here is that you need to complete eight triumphs out of a possible ten and you'll need to fully upgrade this sparrow right here it is called the Donning Cheer Sparrow so what you'll need to do is complete these three upgrades right here and there are specific objectives that you need to do so again per usual you need to uh, complete the Eva's Return Milestone which is pretty much straightforward and very very easy to do you'll need to um, complete the sparrow steps which is to uh, bake three specific treats to three specific people and of course bake 12 treats overall once you get that done you'll get the sparrow but you're not done yet you'll need to go immediately to Amanda Holiday uh, she is the shipwright in the tower and you'll be able to get these three upgraded bounties so these are the three upgrade bounties that you'll need to finish the sparrow that's called Titan and Warlock which is to um, bake the Traveler Donut Holes for Ikora and Alcane Draggy Cookies for Sloan and then deliver 48, uh, no sorry, not deliver, bake. That, that's my fault on that one. You have to bake, not deliver, bake 48 baked goods. So that is your Titan and Warlock um, upgrade for that Sparrow. The second one here is Sniper and Scribe. You'll need to bake Radiolarian Pudding for Asher Mir and Gentleman's Shortbread for Devram K. And you also need to bake 72 baked goods overall. The last one here is Gunsmith and Navigator. You'll need to bake Telemetry Tapioca for Banshee 44 and Infinite Forest Cake for Failsafe. And then bake 120 treats. Now we're at 104 so far. And also we're going to be showing you guys the Powerful Gear Bounty. Let's see what we'll get out of that in just a moment. But without further ado, let's just get baking. Let's just get right into it right now. And you know what? There's, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. You know what? Let's do one for everybody. It's Christmas. So, let's just do one of each. Eventually, get it out of the way. See how close we are. There we go. And again, I'll definitely be getting the powerful gear as well from Eva Levante. I've already done it on two characters so far this week. Okay, so we got the bounty completed, but let's just keep on baking. We're not done yet. I just want to. I just want to do one last um, baked goods for every single person, including Zur as well. I must have lost. Hello. Oh, I, de <laughs> I definitely heard something from my ear. A nice little. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> I'll find out who that is in just a second. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm getting too much stuff in the pursuits right there. And let's see. Okay, so that puts us at 119. Okay. Okay, so I think we're at 119 so far. Let's see. Who are we going to give this extra one to? How much is that going to cost? Well, it's basically a, a toss-up here, but I am going to go... However I can be of service. I'm trying to find Icor. You know what? Let's, let's do Icor, Ray, right? One more time. That should be... Yep, there we go. So that is going to do it right there, the Gunsmith and Navigator. Alright, so let's go ahead and cash in those three bounties right now, plus the um, the Not Quite a Baker's Dozen. And let's see what we get out of the Powerful Gear Reward. Uh, well, we got another helmet, which is not too bad at all. And that's actually two of those Tangled with Mass helmets I've gotten there, because I fully upgraded it. Or, no, sorry, I've infused it to the Nighthawk right here. That was at 643 earlier. 
Not a total loss. It's at 6.43 as well. I'm going to get rid of the previous one. There we go. All right. Now we'll get to the upgrades. So let's hand them in right now. So Titan and Warlock. We hand that in. Same for Sniper and Scribe. And Gunsmith and Navigator. That's the three you need to complete. And boom, you'll get the Triumph to be completed. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Now we'll go to the Triumphs category here. <clears throat> there we go. Go to Events. And you'll go to the Dawning. And again, this is the Triumph you need to complete right here. Oh, what fun it is to ride. So you'll need to repair the Glimmer Trail, repair the Glimmer Carriage, and enhance the Transmat Loader. That's your three upgrades to the Dawning Tier Sparrow. And that in. And you'll complete your final Triumph. Happy Holidays. So that's eight Triumphs out of... Pretty sure it's ten or... 10 or 11 right here. There's your second page right here. And again, th this one here, the only folks know, it's the thought that counts. That one here is to intentionally or unintentionally use an incorrect combination of ingredients in Eva's Holiday Oven. That's the Burnt Edge, tri er, edge Transit. Sorry. So do that first before doing the rest. And remember, this does, this does not count towards other triumphs. So it's basically out of these right here. And now we'll, we'll now officially complete this right here. This reward, by the way, is called Affinity's Gift. I got half of it right, but it's the Affinity's Gift ship. Let's claim that now. There we go. The dawning triumphs are officially completed. And let's, let's take a close-up look at that ship very quickly before we put this one to bed. <coughs> I'm still going to stick with the, with the exotic ships of what we got, and same for the sparrows, too. So let's have a preview of that right now. Affinity's Gift Ship. And let's just put that on. Why not? There we go. So that is the Affinity's Gift Legendary Dawning Ship. Just like that. So there you have it, folks. I cannot believe that Dawning 2018 is almost over. Out of all the Dawnings overall, I think it's, I think it's the third or fourth one we've got so far, but this one right here had to be one of the best dawning events in Destiny history so far. But we still got five more years to go out of this. So yeah, can't wait to see what the next one will be when year six of ten happens. There you go. So, on that note, folks, that is officially going to be it for this video. And of course, if you do enjoy this gameplay content so far, if you are a subscriber, hit the notifications button by hitting that bell to stay up to date on the latest gameplay content I do on this channel. And actually, as a matter of fact, I got two Christmas gifts, which is part of video games, of course. Got um, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I really didn't want it anyway. But I also did get uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And I'll tell you the rest of the Christmas gifts I got uh, as well. Got a nice Keurig uh, machine with a Tim Hortons uh, Keurig pods as well. A nice gift card I got from Walmart. Um, uh, it's basically a $50 gift card I got right there. Um, also got The Incredibles 2, which is a nice second movie. I may watch that somewhere down the road. Uh, and I think I think that's all the Christmas gifts I got this year. So I definitely spent a nice Christmas Eve party with, with my family and friends. It was like a total of 16 to 20. It was a nice, fantastic Christmas Eve party. I really enjoyed it. So there you go. That's what Christmas is all about. Family, friends, the time of giving, and all that good stuff. And... I'm going to leave it up to the viewers at home as well and to everybody watching on YouTube. What did you guys get for Christmas this year? Was there good gifts or fantastic gifts? Let me know in the comment section below. So again, we are done, folks. So from everybody here on YouTube and yours truly being the host on this channel as well, I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. Have a happy new year in 2019. And from everybody on YouTube, have a merry, merry Christmas. Thanks again for watching.